up everyone? I'm back in beautiful Squamish, British Columbia, on my way up to Sudasuga. I'm gonna meet up with Christina and we're gonna hopefully hit some cornering skills today. I'm looking forward to trying getting some flow going on and uh, improving my exit speeds in corners and working on a little bit of like line choice, like hitting berms perhaps higher uh, and seeing what she's got to say with that. So stoked to see how it's all gonna go. Have me shredding by the end of the day. Let's see how it goes. So my name is Christina Chapetta. I'm from the US, but I've lived in Whistler, BC for seven, just over seven years now. I uh, moved out this way to ride the Whistler Bike Park, specifically it's the biggest, best bike park in the world and some of the best riders. And, and that's really helped me kind of develop my, my personal style and my independence in this mountain bike world. Started out, I really enjoyed kind of the downhill stuff, um, just riding bike park every day. And then eventually I learned like, oh, there's trails outside of the bike park. Maybe I should check those out. And then that's kind of when I was introduced to um, enduro racing. Hey, Christina. Hi, Zoe. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, girl. Sweet. Um, so I've heard you've been doing a lot more enduroing these days. Just trying to get into it, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, one of my favorite skills that I think can make a huge improvement on anybody's enduro life is just working on some corners. Oh, yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, Sudo Suga, sweet trail for just working all sorts of different corners, body position. Yeah, yeah. perfect. That's Wanna what I need to Wanna go check that learn. one out? Let's go right it. All right. <laughs> Ooh. This is a fun little left-hander we have here. Yeah, it's a pretty flat, sharp, does like a full 180 degrees, and yep. you've got a lot of loose, rumbly kitty litter there. Naturally speaking, what I would probably do if I was just, had never seen this trail before, first time, um, I'd probably bring it out wide yes. first to make the corner a bit wider so you're not jackknifing. Yep. And then as you're kind of turning in, then you've got, you can, you can see, see it see open up more. Yeah. Um, and if you can kind of break before you're coming into the corner so that you're okay. not breaking in the danger yeah. zone, gotcha. um, then you can actually use this little berm to pump right. and get your speed back. Looking where you're going yep. and then leaning the bike. Okay. That's kind of my one, two, three, keep it simple. Low, look, lean. When in doubt, chin over stem. <laughs> coming in. Don't want to go too fast. Low, look. So yeah, it was awesome. You were low on the bike, you were looking you know, at the corner, and then as you're in the corner, you're looking beyond the corner. The steeper and the more technical the corner, maybe the more you could lean. Okay. That might be the only thing um, I noticed on this corner in particular. So leaning the bike for me is kind of creating um, bike body separation. Okay. So if you know, you're coming in super hot, and you and the bike are leaning into this left-hander, yep. there's a good chance that you're just gonna slide out Yeah. because you don't have that kind of counterbalance. Um, just kind of still keeping your, your center of gravity, your center of mass nice and kind of upright so that you're not leaning falling much, one yeah. way or the other. But at the same time, you're letting the bike do what it wants to do. Okay. So you've got a lot of room to kind of play with I'm um, going left, right. So you're staying upright and you're just, you're getting that bike into that corner and pressing the tires kind of totally. against. Yeah, okay. and keeping that traction. That traction is your friend, especially when it's this loose out. Nice. That felt smooth, like as soon as I was like in there, then it like just carried around because the line yeah. was set up. So yeah, that felt so way nice. better. Yeah, and your traction was good. There was never like a That's skid good. or anything. And yeah. it's pretty much ideal. Yeah. Turns. 
sweet. How did that feel? Sorry? Yeah, it was good. Um, I felt I might have over lent a little bit in some of the corners there. It sort of felt like I had to catch it a little bit. Yeah. So probably just finding the end of that lean period. There. Absolutely, that breaking point, the fine line yeah. of too much lean. Yep. Think about yourself being in a push-up position on the bike. Right. Because um, when you're you know, you're thinking about a lot of things, the trail's coming at you super quickly, it's easy to kind of pull back, back a, a bit. bit. Right. And then you're doing the lean out in front of you. Right. As opposed to having like a nice, strong push-up position. So the handlebars are underneath your totally. elbows. Oh, yeah. that makes so sense. So you're just kind of going side to side. Okay. So you have a little more control, right. and when you have more traction and grip on your front tire, you're a lot less likely to wash, to wash it out. out. So yeah, now that we've come through the berm here, we're on our bike, we're actively pushing yeah. down. We want to okay. like gain some speed here with just the natural gravity. Yep. And then, I mean, the fun line, that's what's so great about these trails is they're so wide and yeah. we have so many options. So you've got your fun line, get out there, style it, yeah. lean the bike in. But it's not necessarily faster. Yeah, okay, I gotcha, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> not necessarily the fastest line. Yeah. As opposed to going straight and having like a, a jackknife 90 degree yeah. turn there, I would kind of follow inside and then outside. Oh, okay, so here you're starting to like utilize that berm versus, okay. yeah, yeah you're right, because then that would be awkward. Yeah, pump it. Woo! Nice, woo! Nice <laughs> one. All right. Yeah, I probably still maybe cut this one in a little more than I should have. Yeah. But it wasn't to a point where I had to really cut my speed, like it, it still caught me. Um, but the, as we were discussing, like setting that one up for that following berm, mm. it worked, but I think I probably need to come up a little bit. But this felt really good. This looks super Way good. Way better. Yeah. yeah. You know, you were up there and you were already looking at this, knowing that I'm not looking up at the berm. That's, yeah. a, that's a waste of time for us right now. Yeah. We're focusing on this, yeah. carrying good speed. And then, yeah, just pumping the rollers, like using that for speed instead Absolutely. of going up and down the berm. Totally. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And yeah, way smoother, way faster, a lot less complicated in the end. Yeah, and you didn't look like you skidded or lost yeah. any control at any time. Yo! <laughs> I think, as I was following you through here, I kind of noticed you took the lower line. Yep. Which ironically is similar to another corner that we did earlier, yeah. the low line. Um, and then just as a, a different line choice, I went a bit higher. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, I personally like that one for this particular corner, because coming in wide, then you can really set up straight for, and miss that little yeah, uh, this was awkward for me. Like it's in, it was fine to here, and then I was like, whoa, and then I wasn't yeah, set up. Totally. <laughs> I think that's your little skid mark there yeah, from yeah. earlier. <laughs> um, coming in super hot, super fast yeah. and straight, but you've created this 90 degree corner. Right. So if we can kind of pop up on the, the berm a bit more up onto the wall, yeah. then you can really use the pump on the down slope. Gotcha. Create a ton of speed, and then you can shoot out of that right hander. It's a really nice right-hander. It's not too yeah. um, sharp. Oh, yeah. Yep. So we just finished shredding some Burmy corners on Sudasuga. Now we're going to head up and look at some janky, loose, fun kind of corners. So let's see what skills we can get nailing those. Yeah, I mean, we'd ride this differently than, the, than we'd ride like a bermed corner versus a flat one. Yeah. Um, way more line choice here too, to keep your speed yeah. or to be safer or to be more efficient. Yep. Naturally, your eyes are kind of taking yeah. you right straight, okay. but that couldn't set you up 
any worse for that corner. Yeah. Really. It's just a whole jackknife with a little baby stump in the middle. Yep. <laughs> um, so this is probably the corner. I mean, forgetting all that, when you get here, definitely I would try to set up a bit wider and then it kind of goes against some of the things that we've been saying, like, you know, straight, straight direct line, yeah. lines and fast lines, but in this reality, set you setting you up right outside on the left. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that continues the corner much nicer than mm -hmm. this looks like. It's like, <laughs> Totally, because that's okay. a pretty tight, spicy corner there, too. Yeah. So if you're, if you're jackknifing here and you're jackknifing there. Yeah, you're ditching you're a totally lot of speed. Flown, yeah, your, your whole mojo is kind of gone off. Sometimes braking can be seen as like a negative term yeah. and, oh, you're braking, you're going so slow. Mm -hmm. But if you're just controlling your speed at little sections, right. yeah. then it also gives you a moment to just take a deep breath and then you're into the next section of trail. So the faster you're going, the further back stop you actually turning. need to start your braking or your speed controlling. Okay. Because um, it's gonna take that much longer to get your reaction. Yep. Um, so yeah, from this zone, seeing as I wanna get around that turn, yep. not get sucked into the straight line, yeah. I'd probably do my braking kind of back uh -huh. here okay. on a nice surface material. Yep. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> that was good. Woo. I kind of saw your your eyes like yeah. kind of halfway through this little section drop for a second, but yeah. then you brought them back up just in time to do your brake check yeah. and make it around there, and that looked super smooth. That was smooth. Yeah, yeah. that was way better than that. Even That's though smooth. you're going way out and around, and you can see like there's barely any tire tracks over there. Yeah, I didn't feel Most that I lost my traction. There. Yeah, no, it looked smooth. You look strong in the corner. That was good, like putting that all into play, body positioning, where I'm looking, that little bit of a lean, like getting mm -hmm. that lean and like being more over the front wheel, I feel it's so much smoother and you got so much more control. Totally, just a little room to play. Yeah. It's like your arms or your suspension. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. 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 Nice. No. <laughs> Inside oh, line. yeah. Huh, how was that? Oh, that was awesome. Thank yeah, you so much. So good. Learned heaps in that session. Yeah. Um, some good takeaways. Yeah. Body position, getting more over the bars, mm -hmm. line choices, like lines I wouldn't have thought to have taken. And then how we went from doing a longer one to set you up for totally. the next corner versus taking in a short line that also set you up depending on the situation. Yeah. So it's cool to like ride different styles, different lines. Absolutely, and just realizing every corner is different. Yeah. You got your flat corners, your fast ones, your berm ones, your yeah. techie ones. Like totally. We love corners and they're all good corners. They're so. all good. <laughs> well. Yeah, and the braking, like timing wise and where to look, like it'll huge key factors that hopefully now will make it more sandy. I'm glad you had some good takeaways. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah gonna make a difference. All right, shall okay. we uh, do some more? Yeah, okay. I'd say so. Send it. Send it. You. After <laughs> you. Yeah. We have a classic example of line choice. This is a feature on the mountain's pretty well known. It goes and it's super smooth, so I was stoked to get that one dialed. We're coming! We're coming for you! 